Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is Tuesday, June the 15th, 2021. Let's talk about an NBA play, a casino mispricing. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I believe that when you're placing bets, sometimes you have to place bets you don't believe in. Just so you could have a hedgeable position. Right? Some insurance. Some floor on what you're doing. Incredibly, right now, again it's Tuesday, June the 15th, 2021. In a series that's tied at two games apiece, would it shock you to learn that you can get 20 to 1 odds? You heard right. A plus 2,000, right? 20 to 1 odds on the Atlanta Hawks to win the Eastern Conference of the NBA. Folks, they wouldn't even have to win the NBA. We're just talking about the Eastern Conference. Let's talk about why that's interesting. Game five, right? Now keep in mind, let's say that, and I'm just gonna use soft round numbers. Let's say that I could bet $5 on Atlanta and could possibly then win $100 if Atlanta wins the Eastern Conference, right? I don't think they are, but I'm really in it for the hedge. You'll be surprised how often these hedges lead to money-making opportunities. So let's say I throw five bucks. We're going to be light here on the Atlanta Hawks to win the Eastern Conference with a chance of winning 100 now for game five, which is taking place in Philadelphia, and Philly's a six-point favorite. Let's say I decide that I'm going to make a money line bet on Philly in game five. Right? Philly's going to be in a world of hurt if they don't win game five. Right? Let's say I'm going to make a money line bet on Philly in game five. And I'm going to structure it so that I at least get back the five bucks that I've placed at risk by betting on Atlanta to win the Eastern Conference. So let's say since Philly's going off at a minus 240, right, minus 240-ish we'll call it, let's say I throw 20 bucks on Philly to win game five, right, at a minus 240 that would net me about eight bucks. So understand, if Philly delivers in game five, I've made a profit on the entire exercise. Right? I'm good. You're not going to go broke making profits. But let's say Philly somehow finds a way to lose the game. Well, understand, then I have Atlanta. Trust me, at that point, you're not going to be getting 20-1 to 1 on them winning the East. Then I have Atlanta with Game 6 being in Atlanta. Right? At that point, I can just sit back. I can just say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. Atlanta has a chance to win this series. My $5 bet with $100 upside would be that much more viable. So to me, I like the setup here. Philly wins, I make a profit. Atlanta wins, wow. Then I have leverage because if Atlanta's up 3-2 with a home game in front of them, right, let's face it, that 20-1 to 1 bet you have, that's going to collapse in the betting markets. The people who believe in Atlanta at that stage are going to pay a hell of a lot more than you are, right? Give it a look. I think it's a clear mispricing. 
again, I don't think Atlanta's coming out of the East. As I've said here before, I think the winner of Milwaukee against the Nets comes out of the East. Let me point out, too, that I don't think the current odds reflect the fact that according to reports, Kyrie Irving is going to be out the next game. Right? Take a hard look at that game as well. But that game, even with Kyrie Irving out, doesn't give you the ridiculous futures market opportunity that Atlanta, at 20 to 1 odds, after already, after already winning two games against the Sixers, right? Atlanta, a team guaranteed another home game. Whoever wins game five, right? I believe, well, for me, I'm just telling you what I've done. I like the taste of Atlanta at 20 to 1 as a hedging opportunity, especially when I can lock in a profit while still having leverage. Think about that after game five. In other words, if Philly wins game five, and I say, great, I've made a profit off this exercise. Guess what, folks? My 20 to one is still alive. Atlanta could then win game six and then we're on to game seven with a player who is volatile. When Trey Young is good, he looks like Steph Curry. Give it a look. I think it's worth a look. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I look forward to your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.